Hello everyone, back with an another video with an another interesting topic. So today let us learn about the nature of matter. That means how many types of matter are there. Matter can be categorized into three types that is solids, liquids and gases. Coming to solids, what are solids? In solids, the molecules are compactly held together. In solids, the distance between one molecule to other molecule is very negligible. That means the molecules are very tightly packed in solids. Whereas in liquids, the molecules are slightly apart from each other. In liquids, what happens? The molecules are slightly apart. There is a space between one molecule to other molecule, little space in liquids. Whereas in gases, the molecules are distinctly apart from each other. That means the molecules are very far from each other in gases. So in solids, the molecules are compactly held. In liquids, the molecules are slightly apart. Whereas in gases, the molecules are distinctly apart from each other. Coming to the properties. In solids, what happens? Solids expands on heating. That how can that be done? If a stand containing a ring, if that is inserted with a bob, what happens? The iron bob, the iron bob will easily move into the ring in the stand. After heating that iron bob, what happens? After heating, the bob gets stuck in the ring. It doesn't pass through the ring. That means it has expanded after heating process. Liquids. Liquids take the shape of the container. If the container is like this, the, the liquids take the shape of how the container is. If you tilt the container, the liquid also takes the shape of the container. If, if you place the container like this, the liquid takes the shape of this container. If you tilt the con uh, container, the, the liquids also tilt and take the shape of that container. Whereas in gases, gases move indefinitely. They move indefinitely. So this is about solids, liquids and gases. Hope this video is useful for most of you. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye-bye.